The next learning objective of this uh, module is to perform map coordinate transformation. So what is a uh, coordinate transformation? It's a process of converting the map coordinates from one coordinate system to another coordinate system. Um, it's usually uh, done to align maps. So we may have two maps coming from two different sources. They have two different uh, coordinate systems and we want to overlay them. For that purpose, we do map transformation. Um, and it's usually done by a mathematical formula. It can be a linear formula, um, a quadratic, or higher order polynomial. Um, here's an example. It's not a coordinate transformation, but it's taking temperature from uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit. And you can see it's a mathematical equation which takes C and produces F. It ha it's a straight line. In this case, it's a linear transformation. It has a slope and an intercept. And so it's a straight line that takes one coordinate into another coordinate, one unit into a different unit. And that's the idea behind map coordinate transformation as well. Um, and control points are what we, what we use in this case. So for example, if we look at this example, we already know the slope and intercept. But not necessarily in all cases we know this in case of map transformation. So we have to find these uh, parameters of the model. So if, for example, in this case, if uh, we have a scanned image, so in case of scanned image, all the pixels have a uh, pixel row and pixel column, x, y coordinates. But they correspond to some latitude and longitude on the surface. We cannot transfer, transform this image into an image that can be overlaid on other georeferenced images until we know how to transform it. And to do that, we need control points. And in this case, let's say we have these five control points. These are the points where we know the coordinates in source and destination coordinate system. So in case of um, the source, we know the row and column of these pixels. And in case of destination, we know the longitude and latitude of these uh, pixels. And by, with the help of these points, we can, in this case, this simple equation, we can find the parameters, which is TE, A1, A2, TN, B1, B2. Once we have these parameters estimated, we can then convert all of these XY coordinates into EN coordinates. So control points are can help us estimate model parameters or transformation uh, parameters. So here is an example. Uh, let's say we were trying to take a digital map and take it, uh, use these road network map, road network map to uh, take the scanned version of our map and transform it to match, align with this. In this case, the best locations typically are the intersections and corners um, because they have very precise uh, visual input, with, with, with visual uh, with visual clue to match the two uh, different images. And so these could be the uh, coordinates of the digitized uh, image, and then these could be the E and N values found from the road network map. And by using these, we find the parameters, and then we transfer all of the pixels into the, the coordinates of the road network. There are a couple of types of transformation that we can use. Foremost and most common is the affine transformation, which is a linear transformation um, that we, sh we showed in the uh, saw in the previous example on the last two slides. Um, the other is second order polynomial transformation. So in this case, we have a product of x, y, and square terms added to it. And as we add higher order terms, they become uh, more and more complicated and uh, um, they have more parameters that need to be estimated. So third order and higher order polynomial transformations can be done as well. And in, 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 in physical terms, 
what a fine transformation is doing is taking the original data and shifting it and probably doing some rotation to the whole image but second order and higher order polynomials not only do that but they also stretch the image like a rubber sheet so it, it tries to can sometimes try to overfit the 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 map to the new coordinates and so care has to be exercised when choosing a map transformation all transformations have adders and it's usually described by what we call rms adder or root mean square adder it's an estimate of the accuracy of the transformation so um, consider this example let's say these were our ground control points the true locations that we know and after we do the transformation then we see that the in the fit our points are at E1, um, E2, E3, E4, and E5. Then these little shifts are the errors in our estimate. So we can take these errors and find their, their root mean square, and that's our estimate of the overall estimate of the error of the transformation. So here's an example. Let's say these were the two locations, and this is the location after we fit or after we do the transformation, and this is the distance. Uh, for example, in meters between these two control points. We do the root mean square of all of these numbers and we get 9.36. So this is the estimate of the accuracy of this particular transformation. It actually provides a lot of information. If we look at this table, which you'll be able to see in ArcMap, um, you see that number 15 and number 17 have very high error, 19 meters, 17 meters and this is a, a hint that these points may be causing some serious problem they can be improved or they can be just omitted to improve the overall accuracy of the transformation it's not necessary always to have too many points uh, ground control points as long as you have ground control points that are kind of spread over the whole image um, they don't have to be very high density and the best points are intersections, uh, corners of buildings, um, and other landmarks that have very precise visual clue. All right, so um, the other thing is how do we compare RMS error between two different transformations? So um, with the example that I showed earlier, we were, we were, we were, we were trying to bring an image um, to match it with the road network. If we look at this, first order transformation, which is basically the affine transformation, the RS, RMS error is 6.7 meters. And if we look at the third order polynomial, we have 4.2 meters error. So this definitely has a lesser error, but the only way it could achieve that error was by stretching the image and trying to overfit to the ground control points. But if we look at the actual performance of the transformation, we see that this has a much nice overlay of the road instead of this where it's significantly shifted so the idea or the, the the message here is that rms error is a measure of the error but it is not necessarily necessarily the best choice to just find the smallest error because a visual inspection of the transformation is necessary higher order poly polynomials reduce the error but they also distort the image. So it, they have to be used uh, with care. The last um, uh, part of this objective is difference between projection and transformation. We, we covered projection in the last module. And projection is taking the points on the Earth and putting them on flat surface, projecting. Whereas transformation is taking one coordinate system and putting a different coordinate system um, on it. So in case of an image that we have of the ground surface, if we are trying to put la latitudes and longitudes on it, georeferencing, that would be transformation. But if we are just trying to put it on a flat surface, that would be map projection. 